All right, welcome back everyone. So I'm actually applying the second coat. I actually cheated on you guys. I wasn't going to do a video, but I figured, okay, why not just do one? I'm applying a ceramic coating to my dad's car. I, like I said, I repolished it. Now I'm putting on the second coat. I waited about uh, roughly two hours before I put the second coat on here. And the, the ceramic coating I'm using is the Jade Ceramic Graphene Pro. So this is uh, from Puris. So if you guys are familiar, these guys make the uh, Jade Quartz and the Jade Ice coatings. Uh, and they have the Pro lineup. You can get these on Detail King because they also have the Jade Quartz Pro and the Jade Ice Pro. Now the Pro coatings, uh, from what I was told and from what I've found, is that they cure uh, faster and they form, uh, and they're a bit more durable. Now this one, you can see the GO on there. I don't know if you can read it on there. It's kind of hard to read because it's a white lettering over blue. It says infused with, and it says GO, which stands for graphite, graphene oxide technology. So this is blended by BNB. This is their house brand. They actually uh, blend the Adams coatings because they own Adams, and they they blend the uh, what coating is that? Uh, Glass parency. I'm looking at something up on the on my phone at the same time, and I, I'm pretty certain they do the Ethos one as well. But anyway, I just want to point out that I did find the technical data sheet for the graphing coating. I'll post a link to this down below. Uh, essentially, that this is going to be. I'll post a description. I'm not going to read it. Uh, the directions here, it says shake before use, saturate your suede applicator or similar with numerous drops of material from the dropper bottle. Apply the coating to a 3 by 3 foot area of the vehicle using a crosshatch pattern with slight overlap to level one product, to level the product. Allow the coating to cure for one to two minutes and gently remove excess product using a clean suede cloth or low nap microfiber. Do not allow the coating to come into contact with water for 24 to 48 hours while curing. If it does, remove promptly. Uh, additional coats with at least one hour in between. So you have one hour minimum to apply it. Okay, so between uh, apply additional coats with at least one hour between applications or immediately following a single pass around the vehicle. Do not apply in direct sunlight or to a hot surface. Cure time is dependent on environmental conditions. Test product on a small, inconspicuous area uh, first to gauge the time. And it's got all the aid and it tells you it's got three to four microns thickness, temperature range. So I'll post all this. Contact angles between 105 to 115 degrees. Sliding angle 5 to 15 degrees. So that's uh, the technical sheet. So you can actually apply the coating uh, pretty fast and. Uh, Detail King, you can just buy it from there. That's what I got. You get the uh, Graphene Pro coating, 50 mils with the applicator. This is actually a coating saver applicator. And you can see it's $99.95. And they go into the full details on here. So this one has, Graphene Pro has a 10H hardness. Uh, Jade Quartz Pro, just to let you guys know, has a 9H hardness. Same with the uh, Jade Quartz. And this one has a 5 year uh, rating on it. So I don't know what the Jade Quartz one was. I think it was also five uh, But they're saying that this one is uh, a lot more durable on here And of course it goes into the prep And yeah, just gets you have a high spot. This is, I found that this is pretty forgiving for a high spot Okay, allow time for graphene coating to, to flash and dry Test this by touching the surface with your finger if the product is tacky it is ready to be removed If it's still smooth let it dry longer once flash wipe towel Wipe product from your surface with a microfiber towel. And these guys say wait 24 hours to add any desired coats to your surface. So that's why I kind of waited uh, more than an hour. I figured, okay, I'll just do two. And it, you know, they have all the thing was protects against uh, UV rays and all that stuff on there. Typical coating stuff on there. So again, this one's made in the USA. Uh, for those of you uh, are, are wondering, BNB Blending is a US company. And like I said, I'm just going over this. I'm going to apply it to this area. It's pretty straightforward. The product does smell a lot like uh, SPS. Now, I'm not saying it's the exact same product, but it sure smells like it. So, and there goes the bottle cap. So, don't drop the bottle cap. So, I'm just going to pour a few drops on here. 
So this coating is clear. Um, it looks dark because of the, the suede, but it's uh, cleared with a little bit of black. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, apply it to half of this area here. So I'm going to do a, a puddle line. And then I'll just grab product. This one actually goes on really easy, like I was saying. It's pretty forgiving with high spots. And I can actually see, okay, that's good enough. I didn't want to lift up the applicator, but I wanted to see where I left off. And I got new, sh new lights in the garage, so it's pretty easy to see where I'm at. And you can actually work, I'm, I'm finding out I can actually work larger areas with me coating it. I'm, and I do four crosshatch passes, just so um, you guys, if you guys are just interested in how many times I go, I go four. And I think four kind of levels out the product really nice. And it allows the product to cure a little bit quicker because your coating's not so thick. So let me put that down. I can't really put this coating down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the clock and we'll do two minutes and see where we're at in two minutes. Let me find that bottle cap. I don't know where it flew. Okay, so I don't want to spill any coating. Okay, so we'll let this sit for two minutes and then we'll see where it fits tacky. This towel I'm not using to wipe off. So they, they're telling you, I don't, you guys can't see this on camera, but I can. Uh, I can see the coating right here. So if you wipe your finger, right finger right now is wet at 30 seconds. And it's wetter in the areas where it's thicker. So since I went across four cross hatch passes, it thinned it out in the in this part here. It's a little thicker on the edges here. So if you wanted to, you can actually go, you know, level out your coating a little bit more, you know, like right here. So I'm at one minute, and if I go in this spot here where I can actually see the coating. It's starting to tack up a little already because I had her thinned it out so much. Now as far as towels here, I'm using a Rupes uh, towel that's stained green because it was sitting on top of the IGL coating towel here. So this is, I'm using this, it's a Rupes towel. It came with the Nano uh, and they're pretty good at removing coating. And then th this is the IGL towel. I was trying this out at leveling coating and also wiping for final wipe and it works okay so we're at a minute and 37 seconds and I can actually see that part that I thinned out is starting to uh, get tacky you can see my finger swipe still a little bit there uh, same here but in the main part it's pretty pretty much done so two minutes I'll go ahead and just wipe it off like I said uh, temperature right now it's already night here I'll check right now so I'll let it sit for a few more seconds here because I want to dip this part it's a little too wet I'll thin it out a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this section off because it's ready to go so pretty easy to wipe off it does rainbow it's just hard to see on this particular color Okay, so this towel is going to do the initial wipe off. Normally I don't put it on the paint, I'll just put it under my hand. And right now I can still see product on here. This is why you come back with a second towel and you level out the coating. Now these lights that I have in the garage are 4000K and I can actually see the coating really well right now under these lights. Okay, and I can actually see where I'm pushing product around. So you always want to wipe larger than your working area. And I'll just inspect it. And I got some on the glass, which I already coated, so... Came off easy. So that's really it. Now that's it for the 
uh, jade coating. You really can mess this one up. It's pretty forgivable and, uh, to use it. So I didn't even check uh, where I was, but around two minutes it was ready to be wiped off. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of what's going on with this uh, coating. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, I have no issues with it. I'll probably do another video because I'm going to order the other uh, Quartz Pro and Ice Pro to see how different they are from the ones that I have. So we'll check those out. But if you want to try something, a different graphene coating that's on the market, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick this guy up. I'll post a link of where I bought it. I think right now it's on sale for just under $100 without shipping and then you get the applicator as well. Uh, 50 mil bottle which is pretty good. I've used not even half. I've used this much which is very little product so far. These coating saver applicators are, uh, are great for saving your product. I could actually probably coat you know four cars with this thing but I did two. We'll see. I'll probably be at the halfway, a little bit above the halfway mark for the uh, I'm doing two coats on this car, but so far it's coming out great. You can actually see how glossy it is. Most of your gloss is going to come from your polishing step. This is just the icing on the cake, and I will post up a a video of the first wash of the Jade uh, Graphene Pro. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and uh, post below. This is just a quick application video of the coating. Uh, I am going to be testing this on my car as well. So if you have any uh, questions, you know, we'll put this in the durability test. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, post below and we'll check out the water behavior during the first wash. All right. Thanks for watching.